Hey y'all, um, so this is more of an update video. I am gonna keep on with the mini series I have been doing, but I thought an update video was. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So, updates about the cancer. Y'all know I laugh as a defense mechanism, the people that have been keeping up with my channel know that. Um, okay, so the cancer has spread to my liver, y'all know this, um, it spread to my liver and my spine, the only thing now is that it's all in my liver. Um, I recently, I am going to have a procedure called a radioembolization. Uh, I recently had a pre-test for the procedure because they had to make sure that I, I qualified for it and after the pre-test my the tumors got inflamed and I suffered a lot of pain in my liver and my my right shoulder I could hardly breathe I could hardly lay on that side it, it was a bad couple of weeks I have withdrawn from school because they really think that the cancer is at a really, really dire stage right now and I can't handle school and that. So the plan now is to focus all on the cancer. So I'm just at home now. I have lost a lot of weight. For those that do keep up with my channel, you know I weighed 180 during the summer. Right now I weigh 150. I am not trying to lose weight. The cancer ha is just doing what it do. <laughs> um, it's been really hard for me to cope with. I, c I can feel myself getting tired. I can barely walk for two minutes without feeling winded. Like I just ran three miles. <laughs> um, I get random pains, phantom, phantom pains here and there that you know, they hit me really hard and really fast, but pass quickly. Um, right now, I think that the inflamed tumors have reduced and like gone back to their normal size because I don't feel the liver pain anymore. I have no appetite. I barely eat. Um, it's bad. <laughs> Mentally, I'm trying to be positive, but it's kind of like... <laughs> I was talking with someone today that said I'm not, I don't have the right mentality because I, I used to be the person that inspired him and I, I gave him an excuse that was like you know I told him I've been strong for two years and I've inspired other people and now I need other people to be strong for me which is a fact but he just he just kind of reminded me that I needed to be and it's, I, need to, I need to go back to being an inspiration. Not that I ever stopped, because people do tell me every day that I'm still an inspiration for them. And I appreciate y'all a lot. I don't think I said thank you in a while. Thank you. But it's just hard for me right now. I, I don't want to cry, so I'm not going to go too deep into this. I just wanted to give y'all a bit of an update. Um, so that's where we're at right now. I'm going to make another update video after the radio embolization. Um, once I get the stats of the sizes of my tumor. When they check with the inflammation, it was at a six point something, but they don't want to use those results because like I said, it was inflamed. So once they get the real results, I will be back. All right, y'all.